<clears throat> Hello. Hi. Let me. How are you? Oh my gosh. I am good. I kind of spaced out. Let me get into a better place. No. Uh, I was paying bills. <laughs> <laughs> Is this going to be okay? Yeah, it's perfect. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> How are you doing? It's been it. It's been busy time. I'm um I worked all weekend, so Mondays are kind of my my catch up day, um yeah. which is nice. We all need those, but um yeah. So here I am, um, well, catching up at home. The shop is closed on Mondays, so mm -hmm. I um yeah I just catch up in the mornings. How are you? That's well, lovely. I'm great. I'm doing great. Better now. Good. Than I need to be. <laughs> Um, I'm really ready? excited about third place. Yes, third. It's <laughs> I got my first order yet the other day. Yay! I know. We're so excited about that. Yeah. Okay. Let me introduce us. Okay. Well, <laughs> hello, I'm Malik with the third place. Thank you for joining us. Um, we at the third place are a team of technologists artists and veteran brick and mortar owners who are creating software that helps businesses connect deeper with their customers. And today we have with us Janelle. Janelle. Hi, I'm Janelle of um, all of this, all of that in Noe Valley, but I'm in my backyard right now. Um, super That's excited to be a part. Great. I love the name all of this, all of that. Thank you. So cool. How did you come up with that? You know, when we first opened up our business 10 years ago, we had brainstormed um, a list of fun names. And I actually just sent it out the old school way to a list of family and friends and said, hey, mark your top two and your least favorite two and add anything else. And one of my friends came up with all of this, all of that. So she won. And um, it's been a fun name to have. It's not yeah. great for the yeah. Instagram handles and um, telling people <laughs> the name on the phone, but it's really great. It, it encompasses us as well. So I'm really happy with the name. Thanks. <laughs> okay. So tell us how all of this, all of, the, all of this, all of that was born. <laughs> Well, I was in transition um, with my work and business and I always wanted to be an entrepreneur and started looking around for ideas and was thinking wine. And then that got a little complicated and I basically had my, what I call my aha moment with the olive oil world. And I'm like, I've got to get, discover what this is all about. And I took a deep dive. And then there wasn't an olive oil shop in San Francisco. And I just felt like I was the person to make that happen. And so that's how it sort of started. And having an olive oil brick and mortar too was really about me pulling all the pieces of my life together too, which mm -hmm. in oh. the actual physical interior is based on a Mediterranean theme. I wanted it to be you know, a relaxing gather around the table, kind of open air market feel, even though it's inside. Mm -hmm. And my love of just food and entertaining. So that's how it started. Well, that's great that you say entertaining, because my next question was, mm -hmm. who, how does, um, how did starting all of this, all of that affect your relationship with the community? Well, I live um, in San Francisco. I actually live in Excelsior, not Noe Valley. Mm -hmm. And um, I had been a teacher in the past. So I was not, um, not in San Francisco. So popping into Noe Valley opened, opened up a whole new world of, you know, connecting to community, really. My mm -hmm. partner is born and raised in San Francisco. I'm a native of the Bay Area. So... Um, it was a new opportunity, really, to just dig in deep into the community. And I have to say, 10 years later, um, my Noe Valley neighbors and are phenomenal. And the support that we've gotten through our store, through the community, has been exceptional. I'm, I'm so honored. And we are... You know, I call it a small, a, a small store with a big heart. And yeah. we are definitely in that place where you can stop by and have a chat. Let's catch up a little bit. 
while you're getting your olive oil bottles refilled or um, you're wanting to discover more about olive oil, it's like we are there to connect. And yeah, so that has been a really wonderful part of being in Noe Valley, which is not a tourist destination. So we really get to know our neighbors. That's great. So, so you were a teacher before that, right? And then you was, started, and then you started all of this, all of that. What did you, how was that learning curve? You must have learned a lot starting a business. <laughs> I'm still learning. I am still learning every single day. Um, it was a huge transition. I actually had lived abroad for nearly 12 years and had done a lot of international tour leading as well as teaching. And then, so that was like a big, sort of a bigger experience. I'm not, um, as far as, a, you know, where I, the location of where I would go every day to do what I do, right? And sure. having people come and go and that kind of thing. So having a brick and mortar, I was excited about being an entrepreneur. I was excited about being in a new industry, learning all brand new stuff. I was a little bit concerned about um, the constrictedness of perhaps a brick and mortar. Right. And it's still one of my biggest obstacles for sure. But mm -hmm. it's just been a super exciting journey to learn about running a business and all the different hats and trying to create systems that um, make that a little bit easier and asking and partnering with people um, such as the third place to help mm -hmm. make, you know, aspects of business easier. Mm -hmm. um, and then the olive oil part of it was another big deep dive. I had studied about olive oil and traveled around to many producers and tried to learn about where to get my olive oil from, did a lot of sensory work through UC Davis and um, thought I knew <laughs> what I was going to be um, <laughs> selling. And, it, <laughs> and olive oil is, a, is, a, is a, um, a really deep and vast topic which was one of the reasons why I was really excited about it. I love it um, on so many levels, you know, symbolically, the trees, the, it has an agri, you know, ag crop, the olives, the health benefits, and then the oil, but mm -hmm. um, did not realize how much there was to learn after I had spent one year, you know, taking my first deep dive. And so it's been a 10 year trajectory of learning so much. And again, feel like I, I have so much more to learn, which is exciting. I always like sure. to, right. You know, yeah. I always want to be keep growing. And oh. so, yeah, olive oil is, is crazy, wonderful and crazy deep. And there are so many different facets of it to go down, um, to learn about. So I'm still learning. And so, still sharing what I learned. That's perfect then, because my next question is, what advice would you give somebody starting a business? What advice would I give to somebody who's starting a business? Um, do your homework about um, running a business. So know your numbers. Get a financial person to help you figure out those numbers. Um, ask for help, ask for help, and um, really be clear about what, y what your why is, mm -hmm. you know? And so stick with the why part and then make sure you're able to figure out a way to get everybody else to help you do the other things um, to make it work. That's great advice. <laughs> We're talking about the olive oil part of it and learning a lot about olive oil, olive oil. Do you find, who do you find to be your regular customer? My, well, my, definitely my local, na my neighborhood people are my regular customers. You mean as far as demographics goes or actual? I was thinking, people? I think that people don't realize how much you can learn about olive oil because you just think olive oil. We use it every day. It's not a big deal, but there's such a variety, right? And yeah. I don't, there are many um, stores that just sell that are really concentrated on olive oil. And so I'm wondering if there's a lot of customers who come in sort of not really knowing what they want and then they learn a lot by being in the store. 
Right. So um, that's exactly right. And so there's definitely a continuum, a range of customers that come into my shop. So on one end, it would be that customer that walks in and goes, oh, my gosh. I mean, not all olive oil is the same. How do I know what to choose? And, and um, so then, then we help guide them, right? Mm -hmm. And then one of the things that I really want everybody to understand about olive oil is you really need to smell and taste it and learn, to what, learn what to look for, which is why we are basically an experience-based business. Come in, mm -hmm. learn about what to look for, taste it, smell it, and then know what not to look for as well. So that's really my bottom line as far as helping people understand. And then on the other end of the olive oil consumer per, you know, perspective is, I'll have somebody coming in saying, so we are having a, you know, um, you know peach, an appetizer that's a peach wrapped in prosciutto, and we're going to grill that with our salmon, da, 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 da. and so what olive oil do you suggest? I, you know, so it gets very, very specific. Right. Um, and then we help, you know, again, guide them to, uh, along the profiles that they're looking for that we think will, will match and pair well with the foods that they're having. Mm -hmm. And then to simplify this whole, that whole little process um, with customers, the first thing I tell people who are new to the olive oil world and deciphering the differences mm -hmm. is compare it to wine. So most of us as adults know about our wine a little bit. And mm -hmm. so I will say, um, you know, grapes to wine are a lot like olives to olive oil. So you have many, many different varieties. You have many different blends. You have monocultivars. Every vintage is, is different. You mm -hmm. have different winemakers that produce different flavor profiles. You have mm -hmm. high end, you have lower end uses, moods, all of that stuff also applies to olive oil. So many different varieties. You have different cultivars that have particular flavor profiles. You have different uses. You have different seasons of food. You have different palate preferences. All of those things go into your choices with olive oil. And a lot of people are unaware. Yeah. Yeah, I'm sure they are. But that's a great comparison, uh, olive oil and, and wine. And then for uh, my younger customers, because now I'm getting a lot more younger customers, which I absolutely thrilled about. And um, in, even in my shop now, I've hired quite a few high school students to help me out on the weekends and things like that. And um, I can't really give them that analogy, right? It wouldn't be appropriate. So you can pick coffee. You can pick chocolate. You know, there are so many different kinds of foods where – that ma that difference matters there's not all chocolates are the same not all coffees are the same right yeah that makes total sense <laughs> so to transition mm -hmm. um, said that you that it's really very based sort of thing. Can you tell us a little bit more about your program sure so you were cutting out a little bit there but oh. um yeah, it can you sounds, hear me? yeah, I can hear you. Um, sure. I can tell you about so, the program. I'm not sure what you said right before that. Well, that's it. The pro, <laughs> the pro okay, <laughs> then I'll go there. So it is a seasonal olive oil club program. So um, every season you have, I will send or will send you two bottles, two 375 mil size bottles, and you have a choice of two olive oils, an olive oil vinegar, which is the most popular choice, or two sure. vinegars. And then, so we choose for you, and we'll send, um, sorry, I'll send a little personal newsletter with, a, you know, about what's in your package and how to, to use it, and a little industry information, what's going on that season in the olive oil world, mm -hmm. and um, two recipes. So the seasonal club, yeah, gets you two bottles, 375 mils, an, um, an industry newsletter from me, and um, notes on the olive oil and vinegar, and then recipes. Okay. And then we're pretty flexible. Um, so if there's something that you wanted to switch out, 
um, you know, shoot us an email. We are we're happy to work with you on that. If you only want extra virgin olive oils versus maybe next, I always do an extra virgin olive oil, but those who go with the two oils, sometimes it might, uh, might be a fused or infused olive oil, mm -hmm. which is a different category than extra virgin for the record. That makes sense. <laughs> And there are no sign-up fees or cancellation fees. Um, we hope you'll just continue on with the program for as long as um, you enjoy it. And, you know, um, our customers like to not have to think about having to run out, running out because um, that's a real drag. And um, it's about three months. You know, you should go through by an olive oil, 375 mil um, size within three months. Mm -hmm. And um, I always like our customers to know that, you know, fresh is best when it comes to olive oil. So you want to use it. You want to use it. And I definitely have customers that um, I send, you know, that come in for, you know, growlers worth or wine bottle size every month. So a 375 mil bottle uh, should definitely be um, a, quantity, a, a quantity that you can use within three months. That's great. Okay. Are you ready for the... It's supposed to be the lightning round, but it never works out that way. So it's the, yeah, the lightning round. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> the round. Oh my God. Now I'm going to get stressed out. No, I'm ready. I'm ready well, for the no, lightning I'm round. It's not lightning. So <laughs> yeah, but... <laughs> All right, Brene. <laughs> okay. You got it. <laughs> no, no, Brene Brown. She does the lightning round, right? <laughs> oh my God. I've got like, a, like the sun is pointing right here. That's my third eye. Can you? <laughs> ready. <laughs> Funny. Okay, go so this way. Tell us three things about yourself. Three things about myself. I'm I'm goofy. I'm spontaneous. I'm an adventurer. Lovely. A song you're listening to on loop right now. Oh my gosh, um, some Harry Styles stuff. Okay. Just anything. Okay. <laughs> Yeah, I kind of do the Pandora thing. So it kind of loops, you know, oh. like that. Yeah. And I'm like, oh, what is that? <laughs> Makes sense. Okay. Um, a movie that inspires you. A movie that inspires you know, I saw Encanto last night and I was inspired by Encanto. <laughs> Cute. Oh, no, you froze. Special gift. But really, we do. What a great movie message. We all have a special gift. Agreed. Okay, a book you love. A book I love. Um, oh my gosh, I just finished reading This Here Flesh, mm -hmm. uh, which was amazing by Cole Riley. I'm gonna, there's, it's a hyphenated last name. Okay. It was fa fantastic. This Here Flesh. Okay, and then finally, what is your favorite third place? Um, in the Bay Area. So any place that's outside of work and home where you feel comfortable? Uh, you know, <laughs> um, McLaren Park is a place okay. I'd like to go to. That's a good third place. Yeah, it's close to my home. And there's a secret little labyrinth in there, which I think is kind of special. Mm -hmm. And I, um, there's single tracks out there that are not so well populated. And you can go through little redwood groves as well as open space. Um, so there's a little diversity in this little park that's just around the corner. I love that. Great. Yeah. Amazing. Great. And then the ocean. Anytime it'll be the ocean. So oh, I love that. Yeah, that's my, my favorite third place for sure. Any ocean. <laughs> Any ocean. That's right. <laughs> great. Thank you so much, Janelle. This was so, so great. Uh, well, thank you. Um, I appreciate it. I'm really excited to be part of the third place. So, um, We're so excited. <laughs> good stuff. You guys have a great day. Thank you. Thank you, everybody, for joining us. Have a great thank day. Thank you. Bye.